let's start with a new topic from the chapter fluid dynamics that is conservation of momentum in fluid mechanics Newton's second law is simply the law of conservation of momentum it states time rate of change of momentum of a system of particles is equal to the sum of external forces acting on that body that is f is equal to m into a submission of f is equal to d by dt m into v where m is equal to rho del x into del z is the mass of the fluid parcel in two dimensions that is mass per unit length and mv is the linear momentum of the system where v is the velocity vector since the fluid density is constant the time rate of change of linear momentum can be written as d by dt of mv is equal to rho del x into del z dv upon dt the rate of change of velocity of the fluid parcel can be found for small delta t as dv by dt is equal to limit where del t tends to 0 1 upon del t multiplied by v x plus del x comma z plus del z comma t plus del t minus x z and t we can substitute del x p is u into del t and del z p is equal to w into del t into the above equation and cancel the terms to arrive at a more familiar form of the momentum equation hence the total derivative of the velocity is written as dv upon dt is equal to del v upon del t plus del v upon del x multiplied by u plus del v upon del z multiplied by w which can be simplified using the vector identity therefore v into nebula is equal to u multiplied by del upon del x plus v del upon del y plus w del upon del z the total derivative of the velocity is the sum of the conventional acceleration that is del v upon del t and the advocation term that is v into nebula multiplied by v so dv upon dt is equal to del v upon del t plus v multiplied by nebula multiplied by v finally the momentum equation can be rewritten in two dimensions as submission of fi is equal to rho dv upon dt del x into del z thank you